Hello everyone. Uh, in today's episode, I'll try to show you a construction data set for our uh, new software called Virtual Cost Engineer. As you probably know, uh, during this coronavirus day, you know, uh, project management or cost management uh, getting uh, extremely uh, important because you know uh, there are some uh, economical uncertainties and uh, if your uh, company try to uh, get uh, you know uh, used with this kind of problems your project uh, management or uh, cost management getting extremely important so with this new application i'll try to solve some problems uh, i have seen through my uh, current uh, development history or some architectural history so uh, maybe you are familiar with the jira if you are in software industry so uh, you know showing the project in a, a proper format is so important because you know uh, some project if they fail getting uh, a lot of costly uh, so let me show the uh, application first first of all uh, it is the basic uh, landing page that is currently supported but it is up to your uh, company's requirement to customize it so basically i am signing in with my uh, test account as you see i am now use uh, logged in as admin user and if i go to project section uh, i already created construction project sample data set of course uh, this application uh, in a basic format you can make search for example like that will cut and it is a, a this search is kind of like the google search you know, uh, you can uh, make fuzzy searches. So uh, this is basically projects uh, data that is currently available. Uh, I created for samples. And if I go to details, I can see the details. I can edit it. Uh, as you see, there is only name and ID, internal ID for the project and you can delete it and edit it as i show you and if i go to visual as you see uh, this is the main project item and these are the uh, sub items project items let me show you general excavation uh, and another uh, sample data for this project and as you see you can uh, move these uh, project items in a 3D format. And the good news, you can focus the, uh, you know, uh, project item that you are interested in. And as you see, uh, according to direction of the uh, item, for example, this is the main item and uh, from this main item, work is done through the sub items and according to your needs we can uh, set the speed to show your uh, work speed uh, especially from this direction for example think about that in this construction project sample removal of trees uh, is a little bit slower maybe general excavation so this uh, animated uh, flow uh, particles show the how uh, the work is currently doing and uh, of course the color codes for these uh, sub items now uh, every sub item has different color items but according to your needs for example this true can be grouped and give same uh, color to show the uh, some example so basically for the construction data set uh, this is the very this is very simple uh, 
project so uh, you can create some sub items for the even the sub items itself and let me show you the uh, this um, for example general excavation as you see this is project items and you can create the uh, under the project these sub items or even you can uh, create this project sub items for the project item itself in the next episode uh, I, i'll try to show you for example project with many sub items but for now i'll try to stick with the construction project sample and with, uh, it is uh, sub items and as you see it is a uh, very generic application and easy to use for example you can create a new uh, sub items like that and give the construction project sample save as you see it is a modern application and it show you uh, and my new it controls all the paging my new uh, sub item is in here with the project here so if i go back to construction project sample and to visual as you guess new test item needs to be in also in here yeah connected to directly to the project sample itself so for now as you can see uh, it is very convenient way to see your project uh, sub items because for example in the next episode we will create more sub items under the removal of trees and they will be available under this uh, node so uh, please contact me if you need to apply this kind of visualization to your project or cost management and the last thing I will try to show you custom property for example uh, maybe you remember uh, at the project thing we have the construction pro uh, project sample and only name and ID but with the custom property for example we can create a uh, codes for this uh, project or project items as you see here and uh, according to this data we can uh, show the these sub items inside this uh, you know 3d graph so keep in touch if you want to apply this kind of visualization to your project uh, especially in this episode we give some uh, ex uh, sample data for the construction but in the next episode we try to get give you uh, some more uh, different sector data for example as you can see some uh, artificial project with many sub items or some uh, shipping data set sample or some other uh, sample data set and if you want to uh, you can uh, contact me to create some sample data to your business need of course you need to give me permission about to make it showcase to the internet thank you for watching